when Future's End, we got to explore, well, we said, you know, they said, okay, you have to set this story five years in the future. And we said, well, we can actually tell a Joker story then, because we don't know what's going to happen in the DCU with, with uh, Joker at this point, because there's so much stuff going on. Oh, we're not a lot of pressure right now, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. you know, because he doesn't, he's not around now, right? So we said, well, five years, we can actually throw the Joker in the book. And the first thing we talked about is how Harley's changed in five years. She's not the girl, little girl that's going to play up to him so quickly. Although, and they have a funny exchange in the book. When they first see each other, they're all lovey-dovey, and then she knees him in the nuts, and then they start punching each other. <laughs> and it, it kind of makes sense, because she still has that passion somewhere in there for him. But the reality has also been there for years that she's mad at him. And um, in that book, we got to play with the two of them a little bit and with the wedding. And if you haven't read it yet, it's kind of goofy and crazy. But um, it was a lot of fun to do because the feedback we got uh, initially when they announced we were doing Harley was that a lot of people didn't like that she was like she was just uh, someone that the Joker used, you know, and they felt that. Uh, you know, she was she was just a, a victim, and uh, for us, we said, well, when we write her, she's not the victim; she's in control. Plenty, plenty of things. And